Hey everybody, it's your friend Sarmic back with another episode of Settlement Survival. I hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. We just got our immigrants in and we're putting them to work, gathering some stuff around. And, ooh, I see a shiny on the river, so we're going to click on that guy. Uh, the citizens were attracted by the beautiful lanterns on the river, found paper notes for the riddles. Oh wait, we saw this in the last episode. Try to solve the lantern riddles. Managed to guess the riddle and we got some glue pudding. That sounds kind of nasty, but I have no idea what it actually is. Uh, it... Yeah, <laughs> I think of like a uh, school glue here eating a bowl of school glue that uh, can't be right though. <laughs> if you know what uh, glue pudding is, let me know because I'm very curious. Maybe I'll do a Google search and we can see what it looks like. Uh, but anyways, but yeah, we're just trying to get our stuff set up. We got a repair uh, house, repair shop built to repair people working hard. We got a builder. It looks like we are out of store. Well, not out of storage space. Getting there though, 55%. And, you know, we're just doing the same thing as we were last episode, just grabbing the trees as they come up and gathering all of the plants and collecting the rocks and all that stuff. And oh, ooh, we sh should be able to get into some our warehouse action that we got in the last episode as well. That would be good. I'm going to put one of those on pause or on pause, I mean, and play and we can get that built up. There's a couple iron real close here. Let's get that gathered up. And I think we just got some new seeds. So let's see what that was. Um, I don't have a little new icon, but we got peas, broccoli, agave, flax, and rice seeds. Super important stuff. We probably want to get into some farming this episode. We have a couple of our pastures over here. We got our turkeys working, uh, but we don't have any farms. So maybe we go, this is a fertile soil, I think. Uh, so we'll put a road out here. We'll do some more pastures on this side, and we'll do some farms on that side. I think that would be good. Another thing that we should get into is this tunnel here and get that. So then we don't have to go all the way around. And we can just become a little bit more efficient that way. Just going straight through instead of around. And we just got to gather up some of these goods. And now with the nine extra laborers, this should go pretty smoothly. And uh, just, just get what we need. Keep going. And then we could start to set up some more permanent things to continue to supply ourselves with these goods that we need. Uh, like the Forester's Hut, for example. We really need to get that rolling. We don't have any trees. The trees are just replanting themselves based on, you know, just the growth rate of the trees. Nothing too wild, but I'm just taking the baby steps. It looks like we are out of tools as well. So that means that we need to have our smithy. It looks like I totally just forgot about the smithy last episode, which that's all right. We had so much going on. So I think what we'll do then is I want this built, but instead of this, oh, I paused that. I thought I played it. All right. We'll do this guy as the uh, the priority here. And then the warehouse will get built up too. But we really need the smithy built. And getting stone tools at the very least started up. Let's gather those stone. Let's gather that stone around here. Get that going. Get it in the storehouse. And then we can start to really get working on some of our tools. And then that will be wonderful as well. Okay. And side note. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel and is watching. We hit five hundred subscribers last night that's crazy to me that's awesome super exciting so thank you very much to everybody who's subscribed thank you everybody who's watched and commented and it's it's been a fun journey to go on with you and i appreciate it very much to have you guys watch and i didn't really expect that there were that many people that liked uh, the city builder type game like this that i do so it's it's fun to have that in common with all of you guys that are watching and hanging out and commenting and it's been really fun so thank you very much for all that support it's great it looks like our warehouses are done, almost done here and we got this guy almost done here that's great and we did get a notification that our storage yard is full so that's fine we got a warehouse to take up that uh, that need the demand that will happen here shortly and with tech points we have two police station is really good for happiness we know that and it's not that expensive to get into did we what did we have for okay yeah we needed to we're trying to get into kelson and kiln so we should have our research institutes as well we could get those started yep here they are so we could do one of those guys and ooh, let's get this started we'll get you smithy iron oh not iron i want wood or er, stone tools wood tools <laughs> i can put minecraft again a second episode in a row we, we do need to get this forester hut up and running so let's get this off pause we'll get that Playing, and then we will run a road up this way to ooh. oh i wish it was over just enough well luckily we can do this cancel that and then i'm gonna run this road like 
there. And we need the Forcer's Hut. And we'll go like this, and we'll get it as good as we can, as much into the, uh, out of the rocks as we can. So about right there looked good. Yeah, there's what we could do up there as well. So let's go a little bit slow, one thing at a time, really. We got our houses almost built over here. That's wonderful. Get our people into some homes. Um, I kind of went crazy with the road over here again, didn't I? So I'm going to back that off a little bit. Oops, looking at all the things here. What do we got here? The Research Institute. Okay, so yeah, we should get seven laborers. I don't want to just use up laborers just for using up laborers. So let's do that until we can get some uh, tools built up and stockpiled. He's an extra person working hard there. And do we have any other stone around? Because we're going to use up that stone pretty quickly. There's a little bit right there. We'll grab that. And we got iron and stone up here. Let's got that stone right there. Let's grab this iron as well. And we'll just do that for now. What do we have for wood? Oh, we have a decent amount of timber stored up. 386. That works. And we got somebody making us our domestic fuels. Probably not quite enough to keep up with demand. And it doesn't look like that at all. We're at zero. So we got, wow, it's a red packet for Lunar New Year. So somebody in our comments said that when you see this, that means that there are those little lanterny dudes that are floating down the river someplace. So hopefully they come by and we can catch them. I don't see them yet. We're almost at all the borders. Um, I don't see them. So we'll keep our eyes peeled and we'll watch for those to appear. Hopefully we can get those guys going as well. Those are those are nice to have. The We had a one playthrough that was the... Oh, it was a Christmas and Halloween event, I think, is what it ended up being. And that stuff is so nice to have when you're first starting out a playthrough. Just get the little boosts of whatever. Anything helps at the beginning of the game. So uh, it's super nice to have. And we got... Ooh, houses are almost complete there. And we should have some tools. Five, nope, five citizens still need tools. Okay, not quite yet. But we got six laborers. We, need to, we really need to get <laughs> that farm started. Uh, I'm going to turn on the tunnel. Let's get the tunnel and we'll get the... Forester's hut built. And over here, uh, you could turn that on as well. We should have enough timber to get that built, but I wouldn't be surprised if we lost geese. We do have it still. Okay, great. Wonderful. So if we can get that built up, then we could have our geese going as well. A little bit of extra food coming in won't hurt at all. I'm going to put the road about right here because I want to start planning out what we're going to do for our farming. So we go here. I always like to use the standard farms. They're just I just like them. It's just nice 8x8 size. They work well. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, let's go. I want to put a little bit of space here. So I'm going to go like this. We'll go here. Uh, in that other spot to the right there, I think we'll do a transfer station. And we will. that'll deal with uh, all of these things right around this area. We'll have to do another one probably a little bit down further. But once we get that going, then uh, that could be our storage stuff. Distribute our goods all around town because we're going to need them. Um, so with with the the transfer stations now, so I was doing and I've done it in my tips and tricks. I just thought of this. So we would do like a little town like this by we'll do a farm. We'd like put another little town over here and most people are going to work on the farm with the transfer stations. And I feel like that kind of negates that need. I haven't really played with that, but if you have a transfer station and it's distributing the goods everywhere if you had you know i probably don't want to like group them as much as i did before like in our first second playthrough second series where we had that like wall of houses and the sea of houses that's all it was for a long time that wasn't very efficient because that's all it was with houses but i think if we kind of went somewhere in between we could do a little bit more of a grouping of houses and get some transfer stations going i think that might be pretty good uh, transfer stations are just super powerful way to distribute things around town. So we'll, we'll get into those here pretty quick, but we got to get some basic stuff set up before we get into that. But yeah, one of my favorite buildings now. I love those things. Uh, we could put in an, a warehouse. Oh, I was going to do a transfer station right in here. Well, I'll leave it open for now, and then we'll put uh, another warehouse. I don't know, right? We'll put it right next to it. We'll do like this, and we'll go, yeah, right there. That'll work. All right, that's getting hammered on. We need, looks like we need some iron around here. Tools should be up and running okay. And they are, it looks like. That's wonderful. And this is going now. Great. So one thing that I'm kind of curious about trying is... So in our Easter Island playthrough, we had two forester huts that sat next to each other. One of them planted, only planted. The other one cut trees and planted. 
and it was a very dense area and i i kind of like that it was good for the forester huts themselves and for our gatherers so i'm kind of curious about doing that if i do another forester hut here and then we do a gatherer here they should all play together really nicely and i think that's what we'll do for now we're gonna have to move that out eventually because we're gonna be building up there but i think for now that's what we're gonna i'm gonna try and do that got four people how are we doing on water great okay that's good and we got our farm is getting hammered okay this guy's got geese in there now what about our hunters guys let's put one more person back in the hunter hut got ann and allison kicking butt awesome and okay we'll get that started and now it looks like we almost have a third tech point i really think we should get into well we aren't and aren't hurting too badly for our happiness we're almost at yellow happiness here super good we don't even have our distilleries out yet so i guess we don't really need to get into the police station at this point let's let's do the sand mining in a calcining kiln for now and then we can get ready for our transfer station because it looks like we need cut stone as well so we can't quite get there yet but those two things are really important the the uh the sand and the clay thing that we just got with one of those texts that we unlocked oh oh i'm glad I, I thought of these need to get this medical research done we'll do the next point into is skin disease for sure 100 uh, percent then we have the first parts of diseases covered with our clinic and then we won't be so scared about taking in immigrants because they can be brutal sometimes oh this thing needs to get built up too uh, again all let's get all the things we need all the things uh, gather that stone please we got three workers we don't have any quarries so they have to just keep going around town and pushing out the stone further and further uh we could that's another thing that we could get into but we'll just hold off for now we got our sand pits that may have been a little premature to get the sand pits because you know i don't even have the basics covered yet but it'll be okay we'll just just not build them yet and hold off uh, but Taylor's another thing that we are going to need here really, really soon because we're only at zero clothes. Yeah, we need the tailor like now. Uh, so the problem with that is going to be getting enough goods into the tailor to have it be operating enough. Uh, we don't really have a leather source. We don't have flax yet. And even if we had flax, we still need to process that into linens to be able to use the tailor. So we, we should have some leather sitting around from hunting yeah a little bit of alpaca wool no leather it looks like but a little bit of alpaca wool and he's got this builder what's the deal here or did i prioritize something else that's what i might have been uh you guys can gather the rocks that are here as well and it looks like we got that gathered up and might as well gather those as well and then we'll have a little bit of stone stored up and you look like you need some repair action we got two people working a repair shop so that should happen soon great what else we got going on here I know we don't quite need this warehouse yet do we yeah we do okay well oh, we just need so much stone right now we need 15 there we need 40 it's 55 yeah it's just a ton of stone so we'll get that stuff gathered up from around here and we should be okay as long as i don't use up all the stone and we can't build <laughs> the quarry or the uh, the mines then we would be in trouble but it looks like there's plenty around so we'll be okay i think good for a little while gather that as well and how are we doing on timber wow really well okay 2000 timber so that's not an issue so we'll don't have to worry about that yet we must have gathered a good amount and just had it stored up because i don't know where else that timber would have came from because we don't this there's no way this guy's making that much yeah 94 not even close no repairman assigned we, we got what do you mean we got two here hmm. weird oh here's that glue pudding that we talked about uh, let's see. Made from rice and sugar at the mill, which is called Hang Wan, I'm guessing. Not, not, I'm probably totally ruining that. In Chinese, conveying a wish of family reunion and happiness. Cool. Rice and sugar. Well, that might be that might be good. I have to try that sometime. Maybe I'll have my my wife make try and make that. She's such a good cook. She makes me those funny things that I just want to try out. It looks like we got our standard field ready to go over here, which is wonderful. Let's get this flax going. And uh, like I said, we are going to need, if we get the flax, we're going to need a weaver. So that would be processing, weaving, textile mill. Yep, process cotton or flax into linens or cotton cloth. So that would be for our clothes. Can't quite do that yet. We don't have the points, but something to think about getting 
pretty soon here. Let's gather these rocks that are like right here, close to town. And our bridge is our bridge. Our uh, tunnel is nearly complete. And we got our another event here. East of Boo. Um New Rider place of the Chinese character boot on the door, which shoulder wishes the next year, how are they supposed to pace it up? So somebody commented on on our last episode about this. So pacing it upside down is the normal way to do it, apparently, according to the comment. So that's kind of fun. Uh, so we're going to pace it upside down. We know that it gives us the right answer. So there we go. Oh, did you see that? Like a little, uh, there was a uh, like penny or something that flew out of the houses. That's cool. And notice that before. Yeah, great. Oh, I might have missed those lanterns that floated by. Dang it. Oh, well. Oh, and uh, let's let's get these roads fixed. That's kind of bothering me that I have a bunch of spots like that. There we go. Make it look a little bit more neater. And I'm going to get rid of that road. There we go. There we go. Spruce it up a little bit. Make it nicer. And oh, yeah. Graveyard's almost done. Oh, yeah. So I mentioned in the last episode that we are using a new add on uh, faster cemetery, faster graveyards. Uh, that should make these be not so annoying. You know, if we get in the end game, you have to have like three or four cemeteries and you have to delete and rebuild, delete and rebuild. That's going to hopefully take care of that problem. So we don't have to do that anymore. But we'll see when we get there. See how good it is. Uh, oh, we got our other warehouse built. That's great. It's 100, 100, 100. Good. We're, we're getting a little bit of storage stuff built up. That's great. That's what we really needed to do. We have a couple empty houses, which is good. We have more immigrants on the way. Uh, only one free laborer, though, because uh, that's not that great. Do we need how are we doing? Okay, 153. I'm gonna take one person off there and we're gonna do like this. And you know, we probably want to gather some more plants around here. Oh, there aren't that many. Oh, that's because there's no mature trees. That's not good. So we do that. We'll gather up all this stuff, like so. And get some more food coming in. The pastures are doing helping a little bit with food, but 122 food isn't that much, and this guy hasn't even given us any goose meat yet, so not great. I'm kind of thinking instead of the flax over here, that we do some food to begin with. Uh, I'm thinking about peas, of course, because those are my go-to. But it could be kind of fun to do rice as well. well. Well, we'll probably do all the things, but I think we'll go for peas to start with. We'll do at least one season of pea. Uh, we are at zero food, so we want to get something going on. Uh, it looks like people are dying of starvation. So yeah, we got one meat pop, a couple meat pops running around. Got to get that resolved with some food going in here before we start getting clothing. Because in the meantime, we can use our a pack of fur, a pack of wool to uh, make some clothing, and that should be okay. So we don't. I was thinking about uh, being too cold in the winter time, but we did just get through winter, and I don't. We did have some fuel slow re, uh, reminders, but nobody froze to death. It doesn't look like. So that's that's good. We can hopefully get our our fuel built up. Stores built up before the next season because we have the timber to do it and we should have a chopping house or uh, enough people working. We might need to make another chopping house or upgrade to sawmills. I'm not quite sure what we're going to have to do yet, uh, but this house is still broken. Look at that. I wish that the repair people would fix that. It looks terrible. So we need a little bit more stone, it looks like. So we could go find that. It looks like this warehouse is almost complete. It's wonderful. And this guy needs stone as well. So yeah, perfect. Right there, we'll gather that up. We don't have a lot of laborers running around right now, so I'm not really sure. We'll do like this, uh, and we'll do like this. Oop, I meant only to do it. Well, yeah, we'll do that for now, temporarily. Flex out our builder, flex out our repair person. Uh, I think this might be a visual bug because we've had a repair person for forever. And there, if it, I mean, if it crumbles, it crumbles, and we just rebuild it. Not a big deal. It's just the house. So we'll do that. Get this guy finished up. And then this is going to help the, the travel time, too. So this uh, this farm that's here, instead of having to go all the way here to store stuff at the end of the season, they just have to go right here. And that's going to be way, way more better. Uh, and that's what we've got to do. It's just it's pointless to have them go all the way over here, even with the doubling of the harvesting and sowing of the seeds with our uh, farming efficiency technology. We got that this it's just that's too long to walk. So, ooh, a traveling merchant is here. I forgot about the traveling merchant. We don't have any silver coins for it, but I forgot that that was a thing because we don't have any of those in the on the island. And uh, yeah, these guys are looking for food out over here. Let's uh, we get all this stuff gathered up over here. Not quite yet, but we might have some food. Uh, not a whole lot. Yeah, we're hurting pretty good. 
what do we got here two out of three or somebody must have grown up oh yeah nice put another hunter in there get that going Need a little bit more stone yeah so the the purpose of this doubling thing so this is a good example here so we had a good amount of trees in here right but we we cut them all down but we are planting them but this is gonna sit naked like this for a while and if we had a gatherer here like i had done before it's they're, they're not going to be replenishing because there's no mature trees so if we put the plant this guy to plant trees and we put the gatherer here then it'll become dense and there will always be trees to cut down and it, i think it just works a little bit better uh i don't know if we put in more people or some kind of bonus or something to make that a little bit more smooth but that's kind of how the nature of forester huts are right now anyways in the game uh, something that would also be nice to get into as you know i love is the forest farm but that's quite the thing we'll get to that eventually but not quite yet episode two year six we got a lot to do before we get to the forest farm so need to do that okay we got our tailor finally getting built up that's great this stuff is all built up over here that's awesome yeah I, all of our stuff except for this is built and this has the materials available to get built so that will happen shortly good good <laughs> beginnings of the game it's kind of slow getting stuff built up so i'm going to break and we will bring you back in just a moment when we're a little bit more progressed maybe right before those immigrants get here all right we are coming out of a pretty harsh winter here we lost a handful of people to starvation you see you still got the meat pops running around but our immigrants are almost here now you might think well why would you take in more immigrants because you have no food well my idea is if we take in the immigrants we have three more uh farms over here we can make a bunch more food it'll take a whole season to get there but we can get a whole bunch more food here and we'll produce enough there and we also lost a bunch of our hunters so we'll need to replenish our hunter here and it would probably be wise to get a fishing dock over here like at some point pretty soon uh, but i think we need, still need planks for that is that correct yeah so and then we need to get into the sawmill which we do have the tech point for but uh, i'm not quite gonna do that just yet i don't think but here are our immigrants we're gonna check we're gonna take those peeps and then we can do some replenishing here so we're gonna get that uh, like that and uh, we lost all of our farmers up here or farmers our foresters up here they all died to starvation and cold and all the other stuff that happened in the winter time so that's why that's all empty now but now that we have 11 free laborers we're going to go around and we're going to gather up some of these foods that are just hanging out around town here you can see there's quite a lot of variety of stuff and it's a good amount of people to go and do that i did have the farmers and stuff do that when they had the downtime during the winter but it wasn't quite enough so yeah so we had another person die of starvation but hopefully that these uh, these 11 laborers are going to be enough to replenish and get us back on our feet gotta kind of i feel like you have to kind of take the risks with the late the uh immigrants to get uh get ahead a little bit that's what the plan is here anyways so we have also taken away a lot of people just trying to flex for enough you know people since we're so low um so i took one person out of the chopping house but we're gonna put them back because we did run out of domestic fuels over the winter so in addition to that i'm also gonna put this to 500 we have a little bit more stored up it looks like our tools are doing all right so i'm gonna leave that at one person and our clothing let's check this so we have leather is running a little bit low uh, but let's just see what else we have here our packable is at 100 yeah we don't have a ton but we're, we're doing all right with that we are in the green with clothing so that's great and then here we go standard field is ready to go so let's put in another p and this also says higher yield than vegetables so i'm kind of curious to see what how much higher uh, so this is 254 so maybe in in the next season we'll put one of these guys as rice or broccoli let's let's check out rice and uh, we'll see how good that does because then if if it's close then we might as well just do more than one we'll have a little variety of going on oh it looks like this guy is even done done so i think i'm gonna swap these to iron tools we have a little bit of iron running around so let's do that iron tools are of course a little bit better than stone but we uh we have the stone built up so we should be okay to make a couple iron ones and replace those with the stone tools or replace the stone tools with the iron tools and i think that's what we're gonna work on next and this thing's almost done over here and we can gather up a few more of this iron or at least queue it up we have they're going all over the place for these plants that we need but 
we'll just get it lined up and we'll get like that as well but uh, we had another lantern guy float down and we got some more um some more food so that helped out a little bit it was only 99 again but it's better than nothing for sure uh, and then here we go we got our keys let's i'm gonna do i'm gonna do two two crop so right here is our uh the fertile soil i think is what that is I'm gonna go standard field so you can see that these are kind of touching this let's see we got this guy this guy i'm not sure how much has to be in it for it to be applied but well, we'll see i guess a ripeness of fertility zero percent zero percent yeah these are all zero okay i was wondering if this was it was it affecting it and it doesn't look like it is I'm not sure but anyways yeah september so it's harvesting time and these guys will become available shortly so then we'll just hold off on that then and then next season that'll be ready to go and we're only at five food oh no this might be another harsh winter without enough food stored up here especially with a little bit more people uh hopefully that oh that died off really quick dang it i need to put a third person in that standard field to grab more of those peas because we only got 180 out of that oh maybe maybe more it might have disappeared too quickly to see but hopefully next season next season we'll have a bunch so let's go with a little bit of rice actually let's um well fast maturing but low yield okay we'll go with rice yeah i don't want low yield i need high yields on my stuff so i get people here broccoli is cool but we don't really need to have it oh yeah getting that road all built up over there wonderful good 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 Okay, yeah, now we're out of leather. I knew that was going to happen soon. So we're going to swap you to the uh, back of wool. And then we got three burrs. Great. So yeah, if we can manage to stay fed through this winter, I think we'll be in a really good spot. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for coming in and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I hope you're staying warm and all that other good stuff. If you're in a cold climate, I guess. If you're in a warm climate, I hope you're not too hot. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you on the next episode of Settlement Survival.